All right, welcome back to Dale Kramer's Custom Cars and Anything. Uh, this is uh, chapter two of, of getting the air conditioning, uh, compressor and everything. Um, I'm gonna go through some wiring and the maker of this. And uh, I'm gonna try to get something going here. Um, anyway, what we got going on here, First of all, I want to show you, <coughs> um, hopefully you guys can see this. This is your compressor. I call this on the electrical, electrical side. This is where all your wires go in on this side, where this hose is. And then this one's the non-electrical non side. Your hot comes out of there, the hot air, or well the hot side I should say you know the temperature hot side this is hoses this is hose routing um, this condenser has actually got to be flipped because this dryer that's on the side of it has to be on the you know on the downside so just what you see here you know the hoses just take this and flip it upside down okay so disregard that. The hoses still run to the right right thing, but it's just the mount of this has to be flipped. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. But the hose connections are still the same, what you see here. So anyway, it comes out of the compressor, it gets and then it's hot, you know, the temperature, and it runs to your condenser. It comes out of your condenser, goes to the under dash mount on the gold side then out of there it comes back out again and it heads back to the condenser I mean back to the compressor pardon me compressor not condenser and it gets recirculated again comes out of the compressor goes around and it goes through your condenser from the compressor okay I'm gonna hold this thing here for a little bit so you guys want but this condenser I have flipped upside down okay same connections same connections connections are right it's just the condenser when you mount has to be this other way in other words the straight end there's a straight end that comes out of that condenser and a 90 degree put the 90 degree so if you flip this the 90 degree will be on this side on the bottom and your straight will be out, coming out the top here on the side. Okay, so disregard the way that's. And then it's made by um, CLHGO Industrial Limited out of Guangdong, Beigdong, China, or whatever it's called. Guangdong. You know, that's. So that, that's what the maker is. It's sold by, it's actually sold where I bought it from. I bought mine on eBay. And eBay was, his name was Tree, Tree, Lego. Go. So Tree, Lego. if you can read my French. Tree is an apple tree. And then le, le go, tree le go. That's who I got mine from. And I gave him an offer of 600 bucks and he took it. So, but I got no directions. So I've been searching, scouring the internet, you know. Now, as for the wiring, now there's three harnesses to this thing, okay? You got your, uh, uh, this, this would be the, uh, under dash harness this goes to under dash and uh, these three wires here okay first of all that'll that'll be plugged right into your uh, under dash deal it's plug and play there okay and then these three wires I got them listed here the red you know these all get mounted to the compressor so on the compressor, it'll be noted um, B plus, you know, 
or I think you could go to your ignition switch. I think that this this wire here activates everything. gives a gives a power to an internal relay. I believe. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm gonna assume. And then the uh, black one goes to your B minus on the compressor. Okay. And then the green one goes with the X H. You know. Um. I'm not sure what that means, but anyway, okay. So that's the under dash. This this is the harness that goes to your under dash. So this will go from the compressor here, you know, to your under dash. And like I say, there's three three harnesses. Then the other harness, number two harness, would be this one goes to your fan. Okay. So this one gets plugged into the fan here. Okay, very simple, straightforward. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse the run of the fan. So, and the fan is reversible. Okay, I tested it. It is reversible. You can run it either way. And normally, you would have it going that way of the flow, but I'm going to have it sucking in this way and going through the condenser and blowing it out into the atmosphere here. So, I'm going to reverse the flowage on this fan. Otherwise, what they say... The harness, that second harness would plug in there. You can see the other end is here. And then you got two wires. So these are basically positive and negative. Okay. So the black, um, let's see, black, black and blue. Okay. So black would go to the F minus on the compressor and the F plus. Okay. And then your third harness is the battery one, okay? This is the big guy harness, okay? So on one end, one end you have a fuse. You see that there, the red and black? That's got to go to your battery side, plus and negative on the battery, okay? Red is positive, plus, and the black one is negative, minus. And this end, the other end of that harness, then it would go to, um, let's see, I guess on the DL, it also, well, it's kind of straightforward. Red is B plus, battery plus on the compressor, and black is B minus. So what I was going to do is I was going to take this apart, okay, these covers here, this one and this, this one. I'm going to show you. So the wires will come into the side here. These covers protect them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take these small screws out. Pull that cover off. Okay, does this cover have to come off? I do not know, but let's take it off and see. Let's see if everything's labeled there. Like I say, I have no directions, but I know enough about wiring to understand things. Okay. Okay, what it looks like to me is that it's just to cover the fields. So, nothing, nothing grounds onto it and causes problems. So, I'm thinking... So if we go back to the harness again, I wish I had some sort of light here for that. If I look at this, okay, I can see that they're labeled. Okay, the top one, battery plus. So that means that's where our big positive wire goes and now I'm going to assume this is B minus that's where our black goes so our two big battery powered ones will go to this and this and they are labeled here so that's good that helps so B plus B negative these big like you know the battery cables you know that I showed you here just a second ago and again and then uh, what does this one say? F minus 
F plus. Okay, that would be our, that's where our fan wires go. That's for the second harness. So that's where, on this harness, you know, that's where, oh, come on, work with me here. That's where these, these wires go. So the fan wires go here, you know, um, the other way. Okay, like this. Okay. So that's where those go. But I'm going to reverse mine so I can reverse the fan rotation. Like I say, it is it is reversal. Now, on that third harness, we got all these wires here. This plugs into the under dash unit, plug and play. And these wires on the other end, they'll run back to the compressor. Now, these go. Okay. Uh, What do I got written down here now? Okay, green. Green will go to this one. Hopefully you can see that. Green will go to that one. Uh, the black goes to the compressor, the B minus again. And then the red goes to the B, B plus. Okay. So, but the red, I think you can, uh, this is what activates the whole system. This runs back to the evaporator, and it's going to turn this all on. It must have an internal relay in this thing, okay, to activate the big power. This must be an internal relay, I'm going to assume. So, anyway, so it's, it is straightforward on that side of it. And then, like I say, the rest of it's all plug and play. You can't screw that up. So, and then this cover, you don't have to take it off. It's labeled U, V, and W. Hmm. For some sort of assembly thing. So let's just put that back on. So you don't have to worry about taking that cover off, I guess. So I'm doing all the research to make, if you buy one, to make yours a lot, lot easier to install. You don't have to sit there and torque these covers down either, I don't think, just kind of snug them up. Okay, so that's how it is. So now you got to think when you wire this thing up, it would be nice to run the wires to the compressor. So you have to make a big hole in the floor to try to get that electrical end in, or you can take the electrical ends off of it. The fan one. You know, the only wire that's going to run through the floor, actually, is going to be your evaporator harness. You know, this harness right here I'm holding, I'm trying to get it in the thing here. You know? So, the fan one, I guess the fan one, I'm going to shorten that. Because now if my compressor, let's put this down for now. Because if the compressor's mounted, you know, on the floor in this thing, it's going to be right there. So then that fan wire just has to go from there and plug into the fan. And the battery ones just have to go from there to the battery, which is right there. So I guess I just got to run the evaporator one to the dash. So it'll go through the floor, along the frame rail, up through the floor in the cab to the evaporator because I'm, I'm not going to put this on the ignition switch I think I'm just going to 
you'll be able to turn it on if the truck ain't running, but then it'll probably suck all the battery juice out of the battery if it runs. So technically it should be on the ignition switch, so you can't turn the damn thing on unless the ignition is on. So the alternator can repower the battery. But whatever, it's your decision, not mine to make on your vehicle. But anyway, um, let's leave it as that for now. Um, I'd like to get the compressor mounted. I'd like to get that one hose on. So let's do that on another video. Yeah. So, okay. Hmm. Please like and subscribe, guys. And, uh, and then we'll, uh, on the next video, we're going to mount it to the floor. We're going to run the wires up to the cab. Not going to put them to the floor yet, though, until I know exactly where that. Because my evaporator, I was thinking, see, there's the evaporator. There's that other end of the harness. So this is just plug and play. The switch is already wired in, you know. Both of them, the heat and cool switches. So all I got to do is, you know, for wiring wise, just plug right into this. Okay. But now my evaporator there, I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm going to put it underneath the dash. Then I got to, then I'd have to run the wires up through the floor here and the two hoses. Or if I'm going to put it underneath the seat in the middle. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything ran to the floor and then uh, I'll measure stuff out. I kind of think the thing would be neat in the, underneath here. <coughs> but then I just got to run longer heater hoses to the motor out, out there, you know. Run them along the frame rail underneath and then up to the floor into these two. Um, I did buy some, uh, I bought some PEX tubing 90s. I wasn't sure at the time what size I had to get, so I got one of each. And then I'll just take one back and go get the other one. I think it's going to be this one, though, I think, right here. Three quarter, they call it. That's probably the one I need. I don't think it's going to be this one. I just bought two of them because I know, and then I'll just have to go take one back, and I'm thinking I should have bought the two three-quarter ones now that I look at them. Those are the ones I should have bought, but I didn't know that. And then I bought some rubber grommets to put stuff through the floor. I bought some smaller ones, some three-quarter inch ones, and then I also bought some bigger ones because I wasn't sure. And then I bought some hole saw cutters and that kind of stuff. And then I also bought some uh, house uh, high density foam to put around the hoses, you know. So that way, um, whatever, that way they just th thermal protected, if you want to call it. So you have to buy some other stuff for this thing too, you know. But. Um, hoping I got my ducks in a row on this thing. I, I believe I do. I have pretty good confidence. But again, when you look at this evaporator, or this uh, condenser, I should say, when you look at it, here, I'm going to go around to the other side and show you guys this quick. Just got to trip over everything here first. <clears throat> Now you can see on the evaporator, or the condenser, pardon me, the condenser, I got it mounted, you know, I use those brackets that they probably wanted you use for the motor, but I used them for the, you know, to mount this thing. But uh, there's a 90 degree one. Okay, first of all, here's the straight one, you know, so that's your top. And then your bottom is that 90 degree one. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm looking at here. Okay, see the 90 degree tube and it comes up to that right there. 
go back real slow so you understand it. Okay. So hopefully if you buy a system off of eBay, this video is going to help a lot of people and pass it on. But please like and subscribe, guys. Let's uh, leave it as that for now. And then uh, we'll talk to you soon. I'll make another video. Bye-bye.